Hey, what's up? This is Greg Rudden on, uh, let's see, Friday, September 8th, 2023. We're at about 5.43 p.m. Central Standard Time in Sioux City, Iowa. Um, I'm at Lee Ferrickson Park. I'm going to make this as quick as possible because I don't want to go, go through it any more than I have to. But um, I was down here. As is often the case in the middle of the night, I'd say two or three nights ago. I haven't even really thought about a date. It really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm down here doing whatever I'm doing on my phone or whatever. And so uh, let me, let me, we'll just paint you a picture. I'm standing about right here, okay? And uh, up yonder piece, I couldn't see because it was dark. I heard females whistling and hollering and i i started making some jokes like oh you know what time it is girl you know all right well they kept whistling and i, I didn't say anything lewd but i was just kind of having a good time with them i thought so then all of a sudden down yonder piece i can hear again i can't see too well i hear and then eventually see somebody coming up this way um anyway I thought at that point when I saw him, he was going to be coming after a fight because he was walking very fast and I could just read his intent. And he said, uh, you've been talking to my girls up the way? And I said, well, yeah, I was just joking around with them or whatever. So he says, okay. Then he walks up that way. As you can see, up that way. And on his way up there, he stops by in front of these trees out here and says, what are you doing in the bushes? And I thought, who is, I, I said to him, is somebody in the bushes up there? Well, and then he said, go get your homeboys, go get your homeboys. You know, I was able to put it together later. Um, yeah, he was trying to make it look like, because you can't, you can't see from the outer perimeter, especially at night. He was trying to make it sound like, the person, it would have been me, was in the bushes and to go get my homeboys, whatever that'll mean. It'll reveal itself here shortly. <laughs> so he walks up that way, right up that way, okay? Very, uh, I, I had in my mind, and I should have known because I saw it in my mind. I thought, this this is going to turn into a situation. I, I even said a lot of, God, I hope those fucking... You know, he, anyway, so he comes back and automatically he pulls out something I have never seen in my life. And it certainly wouldn't be something you'd carry if you were going from down there up to see your girlfriend. Um, so the best way I can describe it, I've had machetes. It was bigger and longer than a machete. It was a lot thicker and it was curved at the end and it had a handle. I, I thought the only reason you'd be carrying that around is to chop somebody to pieces, probably. Well, I had, uh, you know, at first he started coming around the tables. I had to defend myself the best I could and not run away as he's got this large, uh, very effective looking uh, blade in front of me. And, you know, as I'm backing up, he got probably within a foot to me of the blade. He easily could have ran me through, but for whatever reason, <laughs> he didn't. Um, maybe he hadn't gone through this before, hopefully. Doesn't have to again. Uh, so then, I after he left, I thought the better of it to get the fuck out of here. So we'll just walk up this way. Yes. And I'll just kind of take you, show you what's going on here. Okay. So now if you can see my point of view, right down there, I see four guys, one of them likely him, that were coming very quickly down that sidewalk and even into the street. Um, and they looked like they were armed with clubs or something. They very well could have been, you know, like pirates of the Caribbean, like swords like that one dude had. But <laughs> being as they were coming very quickly, and I live up that street, yeah, I just <laughs> I decided it'd be best that I go up this street. Um, 
Yes. And eventually uh, I got home about three blocks away. And yes. But, um, oh yeah. Let me point out this house right on the corner over there. I called it the big fed house when I, hold on. When I got out of my dad's vehicle because they were exchanging and doing whatever they were doing off from that house on the corner there. I mean, likely their base. And uh, yeah, there was a reason he was talking like he was talking in the bushes. I mean, I'm sure, I have no doubt those four of them were coming down to back down to kill me and chop me up, whatever. And I don't know, it could have been a cover or something like, oh, this man was standing in the bushes and saw something weird and uh, you know, then people attacked him. I, I don't know. They would have come up with some story to cover it because this was a, absolutely a federal operation or a uh, black op, as they call it, um, in an attempt to kill me. Um, and uh, I have no interest, nor did I call the police that night. I have no interest in seeing anybody uh, legally binded up for this. I wouldn't remember shit anyway because I don't. it was night. I don't remember what he looks like. Um, and I actually feel a little bit of empathy for these guys because they were put up to it and they shouldn't, <laughs> they shouldn't be fucking put up to it. Now this house on the corner, I said 918, well, you can pretty much figure out what street it is. I'm not real good with geography, even though I live right up there. Um, a few nights before that, I come down here to Leith and they got four SUV like type vehicles on the, their lawn pointed at the, uh, the park right where I'm standing and uh, sure as shit I looked in the front of them they all had cameras on their rear view mirrors so and I could tell this is where this ex the exchanging of people was going down probably their base probably where they went back into they had had to have um, there's a couple very highly active fed houses on this street um, and I don't say these things for any other reason than to uh, hopefully educate people of this. Because and, Oh, yeah. And what other way do I have to defend myself? I don't have fucking security guards. I, uh, I'm not George W. I don't have a mass amount of secret uh, service around me. Uh, I don't call the police. And, uh, yeah, I have to defend myself somehow. So, uh, yeah, this is it. And at the same time... It educates people as to what's possible by these motherfuckers because they're killing people in mass amounts. And what you hear on the news oftentimes, I wouldn't even put a consideration into because there's so many stories to cover so much fucking evil. I mean, just like I was saying, you know, they already had a cover. He was up talking to somebody that wasn't in the bush, you know, and yeah, he had the most effective. It wasn't even a sword. It was a uh, some sort of. It, but it was longer than a machete and thicker. Yeah, there's no reason he'd be walking around with that. And that there just happened to be three other guys up there, you know, as the uh, story uh, unfolded. Um, he easily could have killed me as far close as he was with that big fucking blade. Um, I don't even, I don't even know how you'd conceal something like that. Fuck, he, he knew because he, all he had to do is go right up there to that house. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I have no wish for the, uh, people involved in it to ever do see a day in jail over this and they won't. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to ever be on the offense of anybody, even those motherfuckers up there who are likely, uh, promoting it and, uh, letting it slide. They were probably, yeah, they were the, uh, adults. I mean, these this young dude and his friends were adults as well, but yeah, they were younger and they're probably getting influenced by these the federal fucking authority all over this town. Um, so yeah, I'm still alive. Thankfully I'm not dead or incarcerated at this point. So I got to figure it's a good day. You all have a good one. That's all I got.